Okay, so for this experiment, we chose to use four different solvents. You don't need four, but we thought that you'd have a nice variety of results this way. Our first one is acetone, of course, and our second one is hexanes. And we're just pouring these into little collection jars. You can get these collection jars on Amazon for about $15. They're really simple, really basic, but they did the job. Our third solvent is ethanol alcohol, as you can see here. And for our final solvent, we just decided to use water. Next, you're going to need a roll of chromatography paper. This one here costs $45 on Amazon. Ta-da! So the length of the strips of chromatography paper should be a little bit longer than the height of the collection jar. So right about there looks to be good. And now we're just taking our scissors. We have safety scissors. And we're just cutting that buddy off. Perfect. Then you get three different markers. One, we have a Crayola marker. Two, a Sharpie. Three, an Expo Dry and Waste marker. And there you go. Now use each marker to place a small dot at the bottom of every strip. So you'll have three dots per strip. After each mark, you want to make sure you know which one is which. We will put an E for Expo. You do the exact same for all three of them. Now all we're going to do is just place the strips in the solutions. So you want the bottom of the strip to be touching or like submerged into the solution, but not the dots. So just make sure that the dots aren't in the solution and you'll be good to go. So as you pull out your strips, it's actually pretty cool because you'll get to see all the different pigments that make up a black ink. You'll see that as you increase the polarity of your solvent, everything will actually move up higher. So that just makes it more exciting. And every different pigment will have a different solubility depending on their polarity. So you just have to keep that in mind when you're making your conclusions and observations and all that.